Hello, welcome to my poster presentation. Thanks to be here. Today, I'm going to present part of my work entitled Seismic Analysis of Down Slope Deposits and its Possible Relation to Reworked Fashes of Barovella Formation, Santos Basin. The, the authors of this work are Juan Villacreses, Ulises Correa, Mateus Basso, Jan Rangel, Renato Madeiros, Guillermo Chinelato, and my supervisor, Alexandre Vidal. As an introduction, this, this study presents preliminary results focusing on the interpretation of morphologies of seismic reflectors induced by the down slopes in the Bresal Reservoir, which may preserve the record of erosional activities and may affect uh, the fascist distribution of the Barabella formation. For that reason, the seismic characterization but by extracting geobodies may establish one of the approaches to improve the spatial distribution of the petrophysical properties of the reservoir and optimize, optimize the geological model in more advanced steps. As a methodology, we use a depth migrated tree seismic, conventional well load data, Petrophysical evaluation and phases description from one well. The methodology is a step by step approach consisting of 1. Structural enhancement of the seismic data, 2. The computation of seismic attributes for the initial interpretation, 3. The extraction and distribution of these probable down slope features as a geobodies, the validation of the geobodies by the correlation with core data and fascist association. And the last point is an open question since this is not a completed work. That is, which is the impact on reservoir model? As a result, using spectral decomposition, RMS energy, and dipping, uh, the geometry of the dipping reflect, reflector, seismic reflectors, the geometric characteristics of these reflectors describe the seismic feature in the extra part of the study 80. Well defined mor morphology of concave features appear systematically dipping through the extra part 2. In addition, the arrangement of this of the seismic faces was mainly dominated by erosional and truncated events in comparison to the western part, where the reflector is slightly more continuous. Based on a semi-automatic interpretation method, we separated six geobodies, focusing on the high amplitude correlation and the structural position regarding the top of the reservoir, on the structural height, on the slope, or both. This is because of the relation between the potential reservoir interval of this uh, lacustrian rework fascias and the geomorphology setting can be influenced. For that reason, the dipping slopes of the faulted boats and the adjacent to the mouth features are potential areas to characterize. A preliminary seismic inversion was also used to associate zones inside the structured geobodies to the well one. We observe three zones of lower acoustic impedance on lapping to the economic basement, showing insights into the possible variation of reservoir properties in the geobody on the top of the slope. As a final result, the correlation of the well one allows us to validate the structured geobodies using the fascist description from core and borehole image. Three zones were interpreted as a relative cyclicity in each zone of this rework of fascist. The red, the red zone, the purple and the green. The upper zone was characterized by the association of reworked fascists at the top and in situ fascists toward the bottom. The intermediate interval was mainly composed of reworked fascists, and the lower zone was described by the intercalation of altered carbonates and volcanic related sediments. On the left, we have the seismic histogram zone. Uh, to correlate the fascists and the composition of these fascists. 
The core description on the top of the well was used to compare the facial from the borehole image and the sample and the hand sample. Since this work is not already complete, we propose some next steps to improve our results. First, validating the, the lateral distribution and geometries using additional well data to map the geobodies. Two, calibrate the seismic inversion with lead of phases or rope typing to find some kind of correlation with the petrophysical properties of the reservoir. And in the in a last step, uh, we propose to apply machine learning approaches to map these two bodies based on the analysis of multi attributes or a seismic inversion uh, correlation. I would like to say thank you for all your time and your attention in this presentation and on all the institutions that supporting this work. Thank you for your time. Bye.